All right, all right, welcome to module number 27, Affiliate Products. Okay, look, it's time to dive into some serious training because in this module, we're gonna cover how to set up tracking so you can tell exactly which ads are actually selling products as well as which ads are not performing at all. You wanna know which ones are performing and which ones are not so that you know how to scale out or bail out. In fact, let's just repeat that. So you know how to scale out or bailout. Now I'm going to show you some example dark post ads that we are currently using right now to market affiliate products. And I'm going to dive into the explanation behind it all, the thought process, the mindset, so that you have a full understanding of exactly how this works. Plus, as a bonus, I'm going to share with you a ninja tip. And this simple little trick is going to help lower the cost of your clicks as much as 50% less than what you're currently paying. So, Without any further explanation, let's jump into a segment that I recorded recently on a live webinar. Uh, it was a three hour webinar. I've taken a small little segment to make it very, very valuable for your time and energy. And let's just dive right into this. Let's get into some nuts and bolts training right now. Here we go. Like network marketers, look over my shoulder as I build my downline using newsfeed ads. And this one right here is targeted towards network marketers. So um, Lee's using a variety of things. He's targeting people that are members of groups, He's, that are network marketing groups. He's targeting followers of certain network marketing icons, legends in the industry, and he's targeting interests that Facebook provides you of network marketers. You know what? Everything works, nothing doesn't. The big thing is everybody asks, okay, well, which one's the best? I mean, I don't know. You got to do enough volume. I mean, right now, I don't know what he's spending. I mean, I think Lee's still just testing things. So with this campaign, network marketers, I think he's only probably spending about a thousand dollars a day, is my guess. But the thing is, is that he's able to flip money. So right now, you know, it's something this simple. This is a dark post ad. Now this is a demo uh, because I just clicked on demo, but this is an actual ad that's running, clearly 74 likes, this and that. Lee's got a ton of these. He's experimenting different pictures, different things, just a ton of different stuff. So in the course, obviously I'm teaching you how to do this, but I wanna show you this for a couple reasons. Let's talk about the elements of a successful ad. And I'm not saying that this is the successful ad, but I just wanna talk about elements here. Element number one, does this effectively use bridge marketing? Right off the bat, it says network marketers. So we're targeting with this ad, we're targeting network marketers, okay? So we use the word network marketers to target them. We use the word downline. We use the word downline. These are network marketing words, okay? So, uh, and, then, and then our audience is network marketers. So yes, we've taken a product, Dark Post Profits, which isn't necessarily a network marketing product, but we've tailored it, we've bridged it to network marketers. And this picture, shows a lot of people surrounding one person, right? Which is the concept of network marketing, where, where one person recruits several people, right? So it kind of even has this, the picture itself has the subconscious uh, feel of network marketing even in it. And then this arrow is placed in there, pointing at the laptop, which is like, there's this secret information in there. So now it also has the, the element of this mysterious secret information, right? Now it's got a little bit of branding, but this isn't even really needed. Now, um, I see a question in here that says, Dave says, how are you getting away with over 20% text? Well, first of all, this is not over 20% text. The only actual text is up here, and this text takes up um, less than 20% of the ad. This is a logo, and Facebook will generally let logos fly. But it's not even really needed. This, I think this ad would be just as effective without it, but uh, you know, we are the product creators, so why not brand as well? But I don't even know if that's needed. This, this word here, Facebook, is a controversial word. We, we originally ran our ads that said, look over, you know, whatever as I build this on using Facebook ads. But then Facebook doesn't want you to use their terms. So in the ad itself, you don't want to use the word Facebook. Uh, kind of could probably get away with it in the picture or whatever, but uh, even if we had to, that could just, uh, this could be changed. Using w the word Facebook's not even really needed. Now, for technical questions, I hear, I, I see a lot of technical questions. Hey, if you're spending $1,000 per day, how much are your clicks? What's your conversion rate? All this kind of stuff. Okay, let's talk about this for a minute. It's the, the clicks and conversion rate isn't even really necessary. Here's why, ROI. That is the only thing that you need to care about, it's ROI. Now listen, right now, we could be paying $2 per click, and this is converting, for, for Lee, it's converting so well that he could be profitable at $2 per click. $2 per click and still profitable, right? Let me see if I can log into an affiliate account real quick and show you. Um, Let's see if I can log. I got it. We have we have a we have obviously different things we do on uh, JV Zoo here. So let's see if I go in and log in to an affiliate account. Let's see if I can grab you a, grab you an example real quick. Let's go affiliates. Let me let me see real quick if uh, I mean I don't know if I'm I think I'm promoting through this account but not much. Um, yeah. So 
so yeah, promoting through this. This is my own. This is just my personal account. Um, mostly, we're doing all of our promotion through our corporate account. But this is just me doing messing around personal stuff. You know, like today, 172 clicks, uh, 167 clicks, whatever. So let's look at some conversions. This, this is this just to give you an example of how this is converting for me right now. Uh, 160. So, so today, just today, 417. This is live. You could tell this is live. Today's 417. Just on my own personal affiliate affiliate account, I sent 167 clicks to the JVZoo Dark Post Profits offer. Out of that, there was 16 sales. So my conversion rate is 12%. That's a pretty good conversion rate. Now, the reason it's a good conversion rate is because as you scale up, there's no doubt this will scale down. Okay, meaning if I if I if this was 10,000 clicks that I sent today, that's probably going to be a lot lower because right now what I'm doing is I'm doing very specific targeting. So I'm I'm doing smaller clicks, very specific targeting. The amount per visitor that I'm actually making is $11 per visitor. The earnings per click is actually a little bit higher, but they're only going off that. So I'm making $11 per visitor. So listen, if I if, if for this audience, and I'm not going to give away some of this stuff that I'm I'm not going to give away to a certain extent. I can teach you. I'm not going to I'm not trying to create specific exact competition, but I can I can I can lead you to water and show you how to do it. But in this example, I'm making $11 per visitor. So let me ask you, how much is it worth it for me to pay if I'm making 11 per visitor? If I'm paying two dollars per click and I'm making eleven for each for each click, is that worth it? How, let me ask you this: Would you pay two dollars to make eleven? And if so, how many times over would you do that? Right? So you know, crush it, crush it, get out there and crush it. Look at this: you know, fourteen hundred and sixty-seven dollars there in sales, whatever it is. So I don't, I don't. Know. Anyways, so yeah, so you're even if my cost per visitor is let's say three dollars or four dollars, then I'm doubling my money at two dollar clicks. At two dollar clicks, I could double my money. Do you see what I'm saying now? Now let's look at the upsells, right? So, you know, I've got a, an additional two people today went on and bought Penny Click Profits, right? So since an additional two people went on and bought Penny Click Profits, there you go, right? So uh, I make the 50% commission plus an extra, an additional twenty dollars as being a co co creator of a product. Now let me let me just I'm going to touch on this on a tangent. You can partner up with somebody and create a product for JVZoo. You could partner up with somebody and go, okay, on the back end, why don't you get 20%, I'll get 20%, right? That's what me and Arthur did. We created Penny Click Profits and decided, okay, we're going to pay affiliates 50, and the company will make 10. Really, JVZoo makes 5%, the company makes 5%, and then Arthur makes 20 and I make 20. So that's our, that's our incentive for taking the time to create the product. You can do the same thing. You can partner up with somebody with skills and you can split some of the back end money through your promotions. So this this is just an example. Let's go let's even go like yesterday. Let me see. Refresh. Let's see how yesterday's stats were. Yesterday uh, 53 clicks, 43 visitors, 7 sales. So 16% conversion rate. So this conversion rate regardless of what the money is, this conversion rate is really helpful. So obviously this product is converting but only because I'm marketing to a specific audience. Now keep in mind, this is just my own personal account. Lee has his own account that he's promoting through with, uh, with our dark post ads. Arthur's got an account he's promoting through. Then we have our corporate account that we're promoting through. Our corporate account is crushing it. That's where we do the majority of our promotion is through our corporate account. I'm going to show you something right now you can do. Let's go. As an affiliate, you're going to have approved products, products that you're approved for. Go down and see if I can find it. Da, 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 da. Dark post profits and you're going to get your links. Okay. So here's an affiliate link, right? There's there's one of, there's my affiliate link. I'll make 50% commissions and it's instant. So there's my affiliate link. Now I'm going to show you something you can do. In fact, I'm going to show you a search right now you can do. Watch this. JVZoo TID. JVZoo space TID. There's a search you could do. And the first listing here is how to set up tracking IDs with JVZoo. How to set up tracking IDs. So I just did a search, a Google search for JVZoo and the word TID, which is short for tracking ID. And they have this article here. Okay, how to set up tracking IDs. Essentially, you can add characters to the end of your link. See this, there's an example. You can add characters. So they give you your link, but then you could add slash question mark TID equals Twitter week one or whatever keyword you want. Okay, and that's for a Twitter campaign, right? Now, tracking IDs have to be in lowercase only. So this, this is the actual ID right here. This is the part you change. That has to be lowercase and it can't be more than 24 characters long. It can only be letters and numbers, no punctuations or symbols. Okay, so let's let me show you how this would work. Here's my link. Okay, now I might I might do this slash question mark TID equals. Now I'm just copying this from down there. See this slash question mark TID equals. Okay, so look at my link up here. I put it at the end of my link slash question mark TID equals keyword. 
Now, watch this. Let's change this keyword to, let's say, um, dark post one. Okay, I copy that. Now, that's my affiliate link, and I have a, a TID for the word dark post one. So now, if somebody, if, if somebody clicks on that link, it sends them here to the, to the dark post profits offer on JVZoo. See, it's got that JVZoo button, so if they buy now, it's going through JVZoo. You see this up here? So it's a JVZoo, uh, it's, a, it's the JVZoo link. Okay. But what I want to show you is that's how you add tracking links. So now you can track dark posts this way. So watch this. Go to affiliates and go to transactions. You know, here's transactions today, right? So here's an example. Today on this account, this is from, uh, I sent out an email. Okay. Uh, there's an ad. This one right here, this one right here are from sales coming in from an old link that has, uh, or no, sorry, penny click profits. So for the upgrades, it doesn't show, unfortunately, JVZoo is not tracking the TID when people upgrade. So they bought, somebody bought penny click profits there, somebody bought penny click profits there. So unfortunately, that's, that is kind of, a, I'd like to know which one it was, but here's an example of use of TIDs. Um, 417, so here's what it is. It's all, it's less than 24 characters. It's, here's what, the, here's what that link looks like right there. It's this link right there, but it's our dark post one. It's 417 last chance email, okay? That right there is the link that I that I sent out and promoted. So this link right here went to my Aweber list. I sent out a last chance email for people. Um, my Aweber list has like I don't know how many people. I don't know, ten or twenty thousand. I can't. I, I I'd have to. I have so many different lists that I'd have to recall. But um, but there you go. So uh, four seventeen last chance email. Okay. Now this one here, I added gr. That means that's my get response list. So there's another ten thousand people I have in get response. Um, so I so I send that out as well. So this shows you right here that just today, just from that email, I can see I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sales at fifty dollars a piece uh, commissions plus um, uh, plus a couple upsells that could have came from there, another hundred whatever. And then you see the ones with GR. So from the get response email, one, two, three, four, five. Now I got busy and I didn't even get a chance to send it out again. I was going to send it out about an hour before the webinar, but I got busy and just didn't do it. But you see what I'm saying here? This that's tracking. So now I'm not going to log in a Lee's account. Um, <laughs> Lee's going to get in the comments again and say, "No, don't log." The, the, Lee doesn't want to create too much competition. But this is just an example of how to sell uh, affiliate products in the newsfeed. What Lee's doing is Lee Lee's account, and Lee's. By the way, you guys don't know Lee. He's been the one uh, answering at support. Uh, he's been the one that's. He kind of wears a lot of hats in the company. He manages our dark post ads. I mean, I jump in there too. So does Arthur. Don't get me wrong. But Lee's like uh, kind of becoming like the the dark post ninja. Lee, you might have to have a, a your own course called Dark Post Ninja. <laughs> you know, but um, where we actually show all his account. But in his account, this this is a lot more sales because he's doing a lot more sales than I am. And in his account, um, you know, he's he's doing uh, uh, he's actually doing uh, dark. He's tracking different dark post ads. Now, what he does is he he uses something to identify each dark post ad differently. So, what why is this important? Because he's able to look in and see exactly which dark post ad is resulting in a sale, right? So let's let's just say this was dark post ad one, and I got a, I got a sale here, I got a sale here, I got a sale here, I got a sale whatever. So if that's dark post ad one, then I can see. Um, exactly how much money I've made from that dark post. So now if I've made $300 from that dark post and I've spent $100, then I'm tripling my money. And this is instant payouts. So you guys, you guys want to go crazy here? What if my PayPal account is what's connected to Facebook for the ads? Then I spent $300, I spent $100 but instantly got back in $300. Um, <laughs> In the comments right now, Lee says, "Log into my account, and I will blow up your computer." You know, I don't doubt that because Lee came over here and set up my um, my whole networking station. So I don't doubt if he installed a little red button, um, like a detonation device on my computer. I actually don't don't doubt that. So I'm going to be very careful not to show that account. But uh, I think Lee just doesn't want to show too much of his specific individual tracking and stuff like he doesn't want too many people to reverse engineer his stuff because Lee's in the money flipping business, right? Lee, Lee's going to be to the point, uh, give him like another month or something of this, he's going to be the point of spending $10,000 a day, flipping it to $30,000 a day, selling a variety of stuff, selling t-shirts, selling affiliate products, selling our own products, recruiting people into network marketing offers, uh, lead generation, you name it, right? So, um, you know, right now he's only maybe spending $500,000 a day just doing the testing phase with our, with, with uh, you know, getting data, but then once the, uh, once the data is there, it's the scale phase. And then he scales up. I'm showing you that my account because I use this as well. You can just add tracking to the end of all your links. 
So again, it's just you add this part, slash, question mark, TID equals, and then a keyword. And remember, you, if, if you need help about that, you can just go to that article that shows it's got to be less than 24 characters, and it can only be numbers and letters. And then it only shows up when a sale's done, and you find it by going to affiliate transactions. Okay, so it only it only shows up when sales are done. So that's that's that. I mean, that's how you can track your where your sales are coming from. That's how you can track which ads are effective. And you can do this with any JVZoo product. Listen, you want to know how crazy this is? Go here, top sellers. Go to marketplace. Go to top sellers. You know, Tube Spotter. Let's go check these guys out. Here's Tube Spotter, right? Um, so here's here's a product that's selling really well. Uh, Twelve ninety five, fourteen fifty. See, most of the top products are cheap because um, JVZoo goes off of the actual um, how many units sell. It doesn't matter what the price is. So that's how usually the ones on the top are cheaper. So you might go, okay, who does this appeal to? This appeals to people that are doing YouTube, right? So now what you could do is you could go and you could uh, you could go to Facebook members of groups named YouTube. Let's just see. So here's a bunch of people here. I could target all these people. These are all people, but I could also see kind of like what groups they are. Member of YouTube Liker, 3,502 members. So I can go over here, members of YouTube Liker. So here's 3,502. Here's a bunch of people that are all YouTube marketers that are looking to go. And I might go, hey, okay, this guy, let's take each one. Here's Brian. I know Brian. Brian's a friend of mine. Brian might even be watching this webinar right now, okay? Uh, he's actually a friend of mine. We're friends there. Um, yeah, he, Brian's a YouTuber. He focuses on YouTube, right? So I could market to Brian, but also Brian's friends and followers might be people to market to, right? So you know, he's got you know 20, 2,800 friends. He might have some followers. I don't know if he does. Two hundred followers, whatever. So I could I could create an I could I could go. Hey, Brian might be interested in this product, or Brian's friends might be interested in the product, or groups that Brian's members of of this group or groups like this might be interested in this product. So now I could take this product. Tube Spotter. Now, I wouldn't want to just promote any junky product, but I could create this product, and I can go out there and I could find audiences of people that would be interested in this, and I can get my affiliate link. How do I get my affiliate link? Right here, affiliate details. You go into affiliate details, and you go here and you request permission. You know, you could you could leave them something. You request affiliate approval. They pay sixty percent, and there's a sales funnel with two other products. Okay, so then I I find this out. I find out what uh, I, I get approved. Once the link comes in. Then it's going to show up here in my approved products, and I go to my approved products, and uh, and now I can go and I can start selling this stuff. Okay, so you go down, you know, let's take Joel's one of Joel's products. Joel Joel Com's a good guy too. Um, get links. He might even be watching this here. And there's my link. And then what do I do? I just add that tracking on the end, just like we talked about. Slash uh, question mark TID equals dark post 35, just like that. And now I promote, and I, I create a dark post. I get either a custom audience, or I use Facebook interest, and I do that. Now I can see which sales are coming from that. Now that's how I know my ROI. So this is this is my point in explaining. This is relevant not only for affiliate products, but really for anything. You um, you want to be able to track. You need to be able to track this stuff. The reason you want to want and need to be able to track this is because how are you going to know if your dark post ad is successful or not? How are you going to know if it's successful? If you if you you know you can't just you can't just place ads and, and, and go hey well I'm making more money okay sure you can don't get me wrong you could if you spent five hundred dollars and you made five thousand who cares if you had winners and losers in there overall you crushed it but um, the, the here's the thing what what I want you to get in the habit of doing is focusing on ROI the actual numbers your actual your actual numbers on your stuff doesn't matter what is this thirty four cents per website click uh, is is what Lee's getting on on this ad here. Targeting some network marketers, 34 cents, whatever, 51 clicks, whatever. This is just uh, for the for the day, or for for this little, just a couple days. But this doesn't matter. In in this ad set, Lee has like I think like 50 ads or something like that. So right now, this is just all testing. This is all just playground stuff. This doesn't matter. Um, over the course of time, this will be 500 clicks or 5,000 clicks, right? And uh, that'll probably go up to 60, 70 cents. But the question is, is how much how much is Lee earning on that? That's really the question. If Lee's paying 34 cents per click, well, he goes into his JV stats. If he's only making 20 cents per click, then he's losing money. So what he's going to do is he's going to go over here and go, okay, I spent $17.60 on this ad. Did it generate one sale so far out of 51 clicks? No. Then so far he's out $17.60. But Lee might say, look, I'm going to generate at least 200 clicks during testing. Sorry, every time I highlight it, it opens that up. Lee, Lee's probably going to do something like this. On this ad, as long as this cost is pretty cheap, like 30, 40, 50, a, a dollar, dollar 50. I don't know what is, I don't know exactly what his threshold is here, but I'm just going to say 
let's say it's like a a dollar fifty. Anything over a dollar fifty is probably going to pause. Okay, but if it's under a dollar fifty or if it's really low like this, thirty four cents, then then sure, he's probably going to run this to two hundred clicks, and he's going to have tracking on it. It's going to it's going to have tracking on the actual link. He's probably going to run this to two hundred clicks, and out of those two hundred clicks, once there's two hundred. Okay, so he's probably spent like a hundred bucks or whatever, or less, maybe 70, 75, 80 bucks, whatever that is. What is I, who wants to do the math? Is that 68 bucks, 70 bucks? 70 dollars should get about 200 clicks. Once he's got about 200 clicks, he should he should have you know data. So now, if he's got 200 clicks and there's one sale, he spent 70 dollars to make 50. Now he's losing money, but the ad is selling. So even though he's losing money, he might go, hey, I just want to tweak this ad. You know, maybe I'll change this verbiage. What what is it? What's the click through rate? The click through rate's four point three percent. You know what? That's not good enough. Let me get that click through rate up to let me see if I can change this. Let me get the click through rate higher. Let me put a different call to action or let me use a different image and see if I can get this ad a little to convert a little bit better. And then he might run it again, do another two hundred clicks and see if he could do it. Now, that's even if he's losing money. Because if he got one sale, if he did two hundred clicks and got a sale, then he knows people are buying from the ad. Isn't that really the data you need? You need to know that people are buying. You need buyers, right? Okay. So the next thing is this. Let's say that he spent seventy dollars and he has two sales. Well, at fifty dollars commission, now he's made a hundred dollars. So he's spending seventy to make a hundred. Sure, he's not quite doubling his money yet, but he's proving that this campaign can work. This is this the, the phase one when you're doing dark posts. Phase one is 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 the is the data phase. You're figuring it out. You're you're looking to get data. You're placing ads. You're tweaking them. You're changing thumbnails. You're changing stuff. You're looking to get data. You need enough clicks. You need hopefully a decent price. You need enough stuff. You're looking to get data. Okay. Um, once you get the data, then you're looking at ways to be able to spread out. So you'll notice he's using a small potential audience here, right? So now he can spread out. He can grab, make the audience a little bit bigger, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty thousand, and go again. Okay. Go again. Go again. Right, and I teach in the modules. I teach about how to scale out, so I don't even need to do that right now. I teach how to scale out. Okay. Um, the other thing you'll notice other other states here. One thing that one thing in Lee's testing is that if he just targeted United States, he was getting a higher cost per click. But here's the thing: this group, this custom audience that he's using here, this small custom audience, doesn't have anybody uh, internationally. Meaning that if he just chooses United States, it says this ad's going to target 2,200 people. As soon as, he, as soon as he gets these these countries, it says this ad is still going to target 2,200 people. So adding these countries did not increase the reach, which means that in this audience, everybody happened to be, the majority happened to be in the United States. Now why is it, now hang with me. It's a little bit advanced. For those of you that are going to geek out right now, you're going to love this, this little tip of the day. Um, and this isn't in the modules that I can recall. But what Lee found was that this right here would be more like 50 or 60 cents per website click until he added these countries. So Lee adds these other countries into the ad even though it doesn't make his, his audience go up. He's not reaching more people, which means there is no people in those countries. But it lowered his cost per website click like in half. Arthur has his own account. I have my own account. Lee has his own account. We have a corporate account. And then, and then uh, Dr. Steve, another one of our uh, financial guys, has his corporate accounts. We have all these different advertising accounts. Collectively, you know, it's like 60, 70,000, 80,000 in spending or something. But still, we're, we're over here doing small dollar amounts in testing because it's all about nailing it and scaling it. You want to figure out what works and you want to nail it and scale it, right? So something as simple as this. If, if we scale up too soon before finding little ninja tricks like this, then we're going to lose uh, our scalability. Our, when we scale, it's going to be at 60, you know, 60 or 70 cents per website click instead of 34. So little tricks like that. That's how we're getting these, um, these ad ranges down, right? All right. So in summary, look, we love affiliate marketing. Obviously, we're giving you examples of using our own products. Uh, in the sales video for Dark Post Profits, you saw that this worked with other products. Look, this works with anything. It all comes down to bridge marketing. The better you can become at bridge marketing, the more creative you can become at how to be able to target your audience with creative ads that have high click-through rates and a good target audience for good potential customers. Look, it's not an overnight success. Your first ad may not work. Ours didn't, but the reality is, is that once you learn this, it's one of those things that you can absolutely scale and you can dominate any affiliate contest. You can dominate really anything that you want to do. So as an affiliate marketer, get out there, crush this stuff. Use dark post ads to be able to go out there and promote your affiliate products. 
promote other affiliate products, and be able to sell stuff directly in the Facebook newsfeed. All right, with that being said, I look forward to seeing you on the next module, which is module number 28, which is recruiting for business opportunities. I'm gonna teach you, if you're in any kind of biz op, I'm gonna teach you how to recruit more people for that business opportunity. So I'll see you there.